And now we see what happens when maybe our thinking wasn't as clear as it could have been and we get an error message uh, on the first page of the two pages of the interview questionnaire. In this particular case you'll notice there's a bright red box and it says I have too many answers, seven, with a value of one and, it, and the tool says you really can only have four and I have three answers with a, val with a value of two and I need more than that, I need at least four. We also have a view distribution button and that view distribution button is so important. We recommend the moment you get a red error message, you immediately click on the view distribution button and it will show you a, a bar graph that will tell you exactly how many, it will show you visually how many of each answers are over and under and it will give you an immediate sense of what you might need to do by reviewing all of the 32 questions on this page. At most, most people only have to move four or five answers around and it's a matter of making ones twos or twos threes or fours threes or fives fours for instance. This is the distribution graph which shows you where your answers fit in relative to the normal distribution that the tool is trying to apply to your answers. The blue bars, the vertical bars or columns represent how many answers you had um, in ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives. And the red and green line graphs show you what the tolerances are, red being the lowest number you can have and green being the highest number you can have. Hopefully you can look at this graph pretty quickly and realize that I had too many number ones because my blue bar is higher than the green line uh, and I had not enough twos. I had j about the right, I had the right number of threes. I could have had more. I could have had a lot less. I barely had enough fours and I had enough fives. So looking at this graph, what I would immediately think to myself is I've got to I've got seven ones and I can only have three or four. So I've got to take some of my ones and make them twos. And probably what I'm going to do is move three of my ones over to twos and that will keep me in compliance with ones and with twos and I will be done very very quickly. It may be that I also move a two over to a three that that would work in this particular case. Um, I may even rethink some of my other answers but in terms of following the bell curve uh, in terms of giving us an understanding of what is more and less important for this particular job in this case what I'm going to be most concerned about is taking a look at all my ones and ask myself could I not make some of them twos so that I could be within tolerance.